Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. <coughs> My name is Kyrene Sangalopman. Today, our group will present our MGT646 Quantity Research Report, The Impact of Macroeconomic Factor on Foreign Labor Force in South Asia Country, such as Malaysia, Bangladesh, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines. Okay, the table of content we consist of five chapters. Chapter one, we focus about the topic that has been chosen by researcher and the quality of the topic that we illustrate and outcome by at the end of the chapter. Chapter two, it is discussed about a literary review. In which researcher, we summarize all, uh, all favorite researcher on the topic. The researcher will make a summary and synthesize, analyze the existing article, book, or any other article relevant. Chapter three is about the methodology. It's part with that the overactive strategy which involve the method used and the joy behind them when they're creating a sample design, researchers decide from who or what that we will collect the data. Chapter 4 is about the data analysis and the focus on the track, attracting the relevant information that have researchers to make decisions through the e-view uh, software. Chapter 5 is about conclusion and implication. It's about reviewing the research and they have been carried out by Chapter 4 and Chapter 3. Okay, Chapter 1 and 1.0 research background is about the research review is a global labor market that demand for foreign workers as an input of production level imported country in this major drive of the international level is about foreign level work abroad due to several factors such as higher foreign exchange rates economy and political stability in foreign country this can be uh, very sketched to uh, their specific skill training, knowledge, and ability that perform their tasks. Numerous studies show that skilled foreign labor can contribute positively to expansion of national production output. Okay. Moreover, some high-income countries are trying to lure back foreign workers from emerging as a, as a part of the national recovery plan. It's creating new challenges for the global government for labor migration. Besides that, demands and skill, uh, demand for skills labor uh, by employee is another aspect that goes on to the foreign labor resources. Next. <coughs> the problem statement. So, Malaysia was recorded by the country with the seventh highest ratio for any total population in East Asian, following Bangladesh, Singapore, Thailand, and the Philippines. The employment is considered as a macro issue for the country. In the problem statement, we collected from the older research according to 40 and 40, 2017, Malaysia is an attractive country because of performance and better job perspective. And Chris Avila in Canterbury Bazaar 2016 suggests that the foreign labor do not affect the local foreign worker finding a job. And Wickram Singer and Wimala Ratana 2016 is claimed that economic growth may not be only factor driving international migration, but they are also factor related to social, legal, political, and cultural phenomena. In Baraka 2016, that inflation arise from increased money supply costs, lower stock price investors move away from the stock. 1.3 objectives. We have two general objectives and specific objectives. So, for the general objective, it is to examine the relationship between the number of the foreign labor and independent variable in Asia, namely Malaysia, Bangladesh, Singapore, Thailand, and Philippines from 2021 to 2021 or have 10 years. It is about the variable that influence macro me strongly. We also be examined in order to find out uh, the relationship between the variable themselves. Is following by specific objective below. 1.4 is about the research question. We have five uh, question research. Is there any significant relation between the unemployment rate by using the foreign worker in a third country from 2001 until 2021? Between the impact GDP, between the impact of the wage foreign worker ASEAN, is there a significant relationship uh, between the impact of the exchange rate more increasing of foreign labor in ASEAN? Is there any, any significant relationship between the impact of using foreign worker by export and good recipe? And another one is the wage and salary. Hypothesis study. All the hypothesis study will be run and be discussed in the chapter three and four and five to conclude that researcher will find out is have a significant or not. If not significant, it have a problem. It will discuss and be relate to another chapter two. Is that uh, the point is uh, complete, complete and relatable with the uh, researcher book article. 
1.6 is significant study is that it requires a more accurate analysis of the impact of macroeconomic factor of foreign labor. Uh, first in Malaysia, Bangladesh, Singapore, Thailand, and Philippines is a sole region has developed social economy over the last few decades. So all of uh, one uh, chapter one is about how to what plan, what objective the decision is one to uh, limit and expose. So we will continue on the chapter two. I, I'm not Amira Binti Ramli. I will present for the chapter 2, Literature Review. In Literature Review, we have two variables, which is independent variable and the dependent variable. Okay, uh, for the dependent variable, um, one that is influenced by other variables that are independent of it since reliant on the other factor. Okay, for uh, my group, we choose foreign labor as a dependent variable for our research portfolio. The definition of foreign labor can be varied based or focus among schoolers and studies as forced labors in Asia comes under fresh security and life their country in the region must improve their human rights commitment and enforce the law more strictly. International migration in the Asian region has changed subtly in terms of magnitude, direction and character over the two decades. Okay, for independent variable, uh, we choose five independent variable which is unemployment rate, GDP, exchange rate, Export goods and service, and the last one is wages and salaries. For employment rate, local employers who are looking for foreign workers will attempt to hire them for several sectors such as manufacturing, construction, agriculture, service, mining, quarrying, and domestic helper. For the exchange rate, the process of migrating foreign workers to Asian countries has benefited the country through exchange rate, increase the standard of living and family income, also help reduce domestic employment. For the third IV is GDP, which is gross domestic product. Foreign workers are one of the primary sources of labor for low skill sectors such as agriculture, construction, and manufacturing to satisfy the demand of labor market. For the, for the fourth uh, is export goods and service. Uh, the higher foreign direct investment can be improved. The higher export can achieve the economic growth. And for the last one, for IV is wages and salaries. The economy and society of South Asia are exceptionally advanced and it is frequently listed as having one of the higher living standards in the world. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the explanation on the chapter 2. Now I would like to continue this presentation on chapter 3 which is research, research methodology. What is research methodology basically is? Research methodology is a specific procedure or techniques used to identify, select, process and analyze information about a topic. In a research paper, the methodology sections allows the readers to critically evaluate the study's overall validity and reliability. Research methodology specifically is about how a researcher system, systematically designs a study to ensure valid and reliable results and address the research aims and objectives. For example, how did the researchers go about deciding, go about deciding what data to collect, who to collect, how to collect it, and how to analyze it from? Okay, in chapter three, there is subtopic which is research framework. A research framework provides an, an underlying structure or model to support our collective research efforts. A framework helps us to determine, based on what we are trying to learn, the right approach and methods to apply in a given situation. It also helps to structure and plan our research activities. Throughout this research, we include a single dependence variable and also five independent variables as shown in the slide. Now, the dependent variable is the foreign labor force. And while the independent variable consists of unemployment rate, exchange rate, gross domestic rate, exports, goods and services, and also wage and salary. From these five independent variables throughout the research, it will affect the dependent variable, either it's positive or negatively a significant relationship. Okay, moving on to the next slide, which is the data collection method. As for data collection method, all the data researchers use are secondary data, as the data have already been collected by someone else for other purposes. The reason researchers use secondary data is because working with secondary data is more economic. Since the data had previously been collected by someone else for other research purposes, there is no need for current researchers to spend time to collecting the data by themselves. In this research, we do collecting a few of our data and most of it are come via journals, articles, databases and also yearly reports. Besides, the data needed can be also easily found and obtained from online sites and also World Bank data. Okay, next slide is about the data analysis method. 
The data that we use in this research is panel data. Panel data analysis is a statistical method as it, as it is a type of data that professionals, professionals collect by observing particular variables over a period of time at a regular frequency. This data can help experts establish trends, make correlations, and guide further analysis of the variables included in the panel data. Throughout the research, we use e-views to develop a statistical relation from our data and then use the relation to forecast future values of the data. And the test that we use in the no and the test that we use in throughout this research is the normality test, autocorrelation derby test, multicollinearity test, Hausman test, and also multilinear regression test. And I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you for listening to these slides. And the next slide will be continue uh, with my friends about chapter four. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Wahida. Today I will explain on chapter four, which is research analysis. The first test that we have done is normality test. From the statistic obtained, the Chalpera corresponding of p value is more than 1% of significant level, with the p value we get is 0.3211. Here, we will say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. It shows that the data is normally distributed, which proves the assumption of a good regression. Descriptive statistic refers to a summary of findings related to a data set derived from a sample for entire population. The data is collected yearly from 2001 until 2021. The total number of observations is 105 data. Referring to the analysis, the highest number of mean and median from the research goes to GDP, which is 8.157 and 8.385. For standard deviation, the highest number has fallen under GDP as well, with 1.3940. Here, the skewness coefficient measures how different a given distribution is from a normal distribution. The skewness measures the symmetry of a distribution, with normal distribution has a skewness of zero. Thus, from the data we obtain, the skewness value we get are near zero. Next, we move to autocorrection test. The Derby Watson test result shows 0.22, which is autocorrection problem. Thus, we proceed with that DB. To overcome the problem of autocorrection, we have used second method, which is issue lab for DB, such as with adding log FL negative 1. After using the second method, we are able to get the test result for W Watson at 2.4617. We can summarize that after we run the lab DB, there is no autocorrection problem on W Watson. Multicollinearity problem exists if there is correlation coefficient higher than 0 0.90. Here, the result shows that there is no multicollinearity problem since all the correlation between the IB are less than 0 0.90. Therefore, we can conclude that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That's all from me. Now, next presenter is Tengku Nazira. Assalamualaikum. My name is Tengku Nazira with Tengku Fazil. My metric number 2018629676. I will continue for my part in the research analysis. Firstly, for the stationary test. So, testing for the stationarity is very important because the whole result of the regression might be fabricated. In a simple words, we can say that thread series is called non-stationary and with unit root and on the other hand, non-threaded series is a stationary series characterized by without unit root. Significant level 1% probability p-value is less than significant level 1%. That's the reject the new hypothesis. Therefore, it can be concluded that the data is stationary for the part LLC, IPS, and hydrate test. From the summary of these three tests, we can say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis, as mostly the data series we obtain are stationary. For the Hausman test, the significant result from the Hausman test for the cross section and the pre render provided evidence fail to reject the null hypothesis that panel regression effect cannot to be employed to the data. Therefore, suitable empirical model to be estimated in this study is a panel regression random effect model. The cross section and the pre random the value more than 0 0.01 it will be proceed with a random effect. The result will fail to reject new hypothesis process with a random effect. Lastly, for multiple linear regression, the result showed that R square is greater than 0 0.50. It showed that the independent variable that we take are all the important, whereas the F statistic value is a 0 0.00000, meaning to say that all the independent variable having a significant relationship with dependent variable. For the coefficient result, the unemployment rate is increased by 1%, the forest level is increased by 0 0.023. There is a positive relationship between unemployment rate with the forest level. For the exchange rate, it is increased by 1%. That forest level is a decrease by negative 0.0429. There is a negative relationship between exchange rate with the forest level. For the gross domestic product, it is increased by 1%. The forest level also increased by 0.0137. There is a positive relationship between the gross domestic product with the forest level. 
for the export of goods and services is increased by 1%, the forest level also increased by 0 0.0079. There is a positive relationship between export of goods and services with forest level. For lastly, the wage and salary is increased by 1%, the foreign level is decreased by negative 0 0.001086. There is a negative relationship between wage and salary with forest level. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Amalina Binti Mas Muhammad Saleh Hudin. My matrix number is 2018-496-796. Today, I would like to present about the two, uh, chapter 5 in the two slides. First is summary of statistical analysis. Second is a major of finding based on the result given. For the summary statistical analysis, we have used the Jacqua Berra test, autocorrelation test, multi-correlation test, and stationary on the test. For the test given, the hypothesis that we are found first is the unemployment rate. Unemployment rate, there is a no significance between unemployment rate and the foreign worker in Asian country. Then we reject the null hypothesis. A second, which is a um, exchange rate. Exchange rate, there is a no significance between exchange rate and the foreign worker. Then we reject the null hypothesis also. The third is a GDP. GDP that is a significant between the GDP and foreign worker um, in a same country. Then the fail to reject the null hypothesis. A fourth is uh, the uh, wages and salary. For the wages and the salary, there is a no significant between the wages, salary, wages and salary and uh, foreign worker in a same country. Then uh, reject the null hypothesis, the fifth, which is the export of the good. There is a no significant between uh, export of good and service and uh, for a worker in Asian country, then uh, reject the null hypothesis. For the more explained, I will explain in the next chapter, the next slide, which is the major findings on the overall in the test given. So I will explain about the in uh, overall findings in our test first is unemployment unemployment is a economic indicator that has been used to measure the performance of economic growth it has been supported by Mofiza, Claire, Tan and Thompson it showed that the reduce of the, uh, the unemployment is a good for the economic growth second is exchange rate so exchange rate is a valuation of currency on each country and currency uh, from the test given, there is a uh, below the significant level, which is there is no significant between the exchange rate and uh, foreign worker in SA country. It has been supported by Bustami, Christopher, Nicole, which is, um, is a good uh, for the currency in the highest. So, the depreciation will be the less. Then, how the government to control the, 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 the out of the currency from the home country. And step is a GDP. GDP, that is a highest of more than levels of significant. It showed that there is a significant between GDP and the foreign worker in Asian country. It has been supported by the Shisha, which is when the highest GDP, it can attract more foreigners and also can attract for migrants to come and work at the uh, host country. Uh, for is an export of the good. Export of the good is one of economic growth that has been used to measure of each country more country has been export of the goods and then more of uh, uh host country can come um, and then get more money for example uh, when we uh, supply of the oil to the indian so we can get the more money uh, from the country and uh, it has been supported by the takavi which is uh is have uh, relationship between economic growth and the export of the good uh, and then also Hazel has been mentioned which is uh, GDP has been look overall relationship between the export of the good and how the government to to make a, a good a policy which is uh, to export of the good for example exemption of the HS, HS code taxation of the uh, shipping costs and then and others and then lastly is wages and salary wages and salary from the test given is uh, significant and then there is no significant among the wages and salary and foreign worker it showed that uh, most of the country after covid has been revised all the uh, wages and salary and look forward of the demand and supply uh, in the Malaysia we have a uh, dependence of the uh, foreign worker from that we have lack of the foreign worker to do the technical part for example uh, manufacturing uh, for the plantation and then it has been supported by Oratai and then 
also at the same time jitima uh, it uh, should that when the country each country can give the highest wages it should that the performance of the country to grow up and more successful that's all about this chapter Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hanif Koyum bin Mohozi. I would like to present about my part that is implication of the study. According to the former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Sri Haji Abdul Babir Haji Ahmad, South Asia country has been a successful developing country and is forging towards becoming a developed nation and formidable force is much needed in the developing progress. Therefore, despite the harms that an overloading foreign force may bring Hyoji 2007, Kanapati 2008, Show 2011. South Asia country still requires a largest amount of the foreign labor to fill in those unwanted job vacancy to sustain its uh, economic growth. Since foreign labor is a very important influence in developing country, Adi 2003. To increase the value of a currency, political stability should be maintained whereby a stable political environment referred to a uh, predictable uh, political environment, which is turn attract investment both internally and externally. Stephen, 2010. On the on the contrary, a non-stable political environment increases both the uncertainties and rise and risk of investing in the host country, and therefore the uh, deterring foreign investor to enter the economy. In addition, its study found that unemployment rate. Unemployment rate negatively influences foreign labor force in South Asia countries. If the unemployment rate is high, it will only impact of the inflow of high skilled foreign labor into South Asia country, as the country is very much in need of low skilled foreign labor to complement the local high skilled labor force. Conclusion. In conclusion, even though the inflow of foreign worker for economic activities or other Purpose are something that cannot be impeded, but wise measures should be introduced for national interest and national security to be placed in an impartial manner. The government used to give hypocritical and uh, inconsistent statement as not to uh, rely on foreign workers, particularly in certain employment sector. But there is no indicator that the number of foreign workers, either documented or undocumented, will be decreased. Two, to prevent the over influx of foreign worker to Malaysia, constructive and productive measures should be taken by the government, employers and uh, worker unions. This is important as those uh, entities must lay out their anticipation on supply and demand of foreign worker. As a result, necessary number of foreign worker could meet the employment demand without ignoring the contribution of local worker. Thank you.